Hello, my name is Donna Rose. Um, it's Friday, October 25th, and Michelle asked me to talk for a few minutes a little bit about my experience, um, share some of my thoughts, and I'm happy to oblige. It's a Friday night. I have been Donna now for eight years and three weeks. My first day as Donna was October 4th. 1999, um, and it seems like a lifetime ago to me, to be perfectly honest. It's been an amazing journey for me, and I find it as amazing to see what where the transgender community has come um, from those early days of feeling so alone and, and not even knowing the word to explain this the label that applied to now being involved in, in a, a real community, uh, a community that not you're not part of because you simply happen to have some number of shared characteristics, but because you actually want to be part of the community. It's, it's really been an amazing journey for me. Certainly a, an incredible journey of self-acceptance. I think that part of this is the most significant part because if you can't come to some level of acceptance that you have an opportunity to live a healthy, happy, whole life, then you'll never come to a place of finding peace um, and to me, that's what this has always been about, is just simply finding, finding peace. I think sometimes people approach being transgender as though it was the source of all of their problems. Um, unfortunately, when you do that, you really miss addressing the underlying issues that might be there. Um, and certainly, you find that if you get to the end of the physical aspect anyways of a transition that you you haven't really fixed what was wrong in the first place. Um, the gender part is certainly the most obvious part. Um, certainly many of us have to separate the reality from the fantasy. Um, but. These days, it's a much healthier effort than it ever had been. Um, we have a much better understanding of kind of the whole picture, a holistic view of people, not simply as trans people, but as parents and as, as co-workers and as neighbors. Um, whereas even 10 years ago, people who transitioned hid out of necessity. My, the most significant part in my journey occurred when I found my psychologist. I'd never imagined talking to a psychologist. To me, as a guy, talking to a psychologist was just not a, a, a happening thing because it meant that I couldn't handle it by myself. Um, and the simplest way I can explain how I perceived being a guy was to allow myself to avoid allowing myself to be perceived as vulnerable. So my whole life was very much about that and certainly um, when I made the call to my psychologist who I found on, on um, the internet, um, that was a, a huge step for me. My, college, my psychologist's name was Shyla, um, Dr. Shyla Dixon here in Phoenix. and. In all of the time that we talked, she was exactly what I needed in order to get where I needed to be. I used to go see her during lunch um, from work, and so I'd show up at her office in my work clothes as David. Um, she never saw any indication of me as Donna for the first couple of years anyways, and she never pushed me she never asked me to prove anything. She never um, rushed me. Um, she listened um, to me, and that's what I needed. I needed 
to find an opportunity to articulate all of the thoughts that had been rumbling around in my head. Because somehow, if you can articulate them in words, they seem to make a little more sense. And uh, that was very much the case for me. Um, she accepted me. She never wavered in that. She made me feel comfortable. And she trusted that I would find the path, my path. She didn't have to show it to me. Um, first thing she did, she asked me to read True Selves, which opened my eyes in, in amazing ways. Um, and it took over two years for me to get to a point where I was ready to share with the world. Um, it took a long time. A significant amount of that time I hadn't disclosed that I was even seeing her to my wife. At that point we'd been married for 17 years and I loved her very much. Um, but I wasn't ready. You know, I didn't have anything to share. I didn't want to be pushed into doing that. Um, and she didn't. I think that you'll find as you talk with people, um, there are all kinds of conflicts in terms of being authentic or being upfront with the people in your lives and the balance of, of being ready to do that. Um, I certainly wasn't. But she was very sensitive to that and eventually I came out when I had to come out and um, I was ready to deal as best I could anyways with the fallout. I find that people mistake this journey for a, um, a purely a physical journey. Lots of people seem to think that you're the same person, you just look different, which I kind of smile knowingly when I hear that because it's really not the case. You'll find that as you go through these deeper levels of self-examination and you really allow things to come forward that you had been suppressing for any number of reasons, you, um, you change, at least in the eyes of others. Um, I do quite a bit of speaking. Um, and one of the workplaces where I, I recently gave a talk, one of the things they were most uncomfortable about was that they had this person who prior to her transition had been very much a loner, very much uh, low maintenance, very kind of disengaged, and they accepted that. But as she transitioned, she became much more social. She became much more needy in their eyes, and um, that freaked them out. And so you find that you do change through this, um, that it, that's necessarily so. Um, and you allow some of the walls that you've built to kind of fall and you allow yourself to truly express how you feel, um, which for many of us it's the first time in our lives. Going into these things with, with your prejudices set aside and your expectations set aside, I don't think there's a one-size-fits-all um, solution to any of this. Um, it's not hard. I mean, it's not easy. Um, but that's what's necessary in order to help people f on the path that's going to lead them to happiness. I am incredibly happy, to be perfectly honest. I've been um, amazingly fortunate. Um, I've met the most amazing people, and I read my story at this stage of my life, and it amazes me to think back on those days. Um, because it seems like a lifetime ago. It seems almost as though you're watching characters from a story um, of other characters until you realize that it's your own life. Um, but I'm incredibly proud of, of who and what I am. Um, the life I'm living today is not the life that I envisioned um, back in those early days as Donna. But then again, the beauty of life is allowing it to unfold um, rather than trying to direct it or trying to plan it. So 
I'm at the 10 minute mark. I thank you for your time. Please give Michelle a hug and um, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks.